What's going on everybody? Welcome back to SoCal Exploring. A week or two ago, we got a brand new TV spot for the most anticipated attraction yet at Universal Studios, Jurassic World The Ride. Now there's a couple things that this TV spot revealed and I'm gonna be breaking them down for you, going step by step through the video and sharing the different details that I gained from this TV spot. So there are more details as far as the ride goes, we're going to be talking about them all in this video. So if you want to say that, stay tuned and let's hop right into the video. Now before I can start the video though, like I say in every video, make sure to check me out on Instagram at SoCalExploringMedia. Check me out on Twitter at SoCalExploring. Check my website out www.SoCalExploring.com. That's why I post all my blogs, all the news about Jurassic World, HHN, all that good stuff. You can actually follow my website now if you go to the bottom right hand corner of whatever browser you're using. Click the follow button and enter in your email and you'll be notified every time I upload a new vlog. And most of all, subscribe guys. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, you want to see HHN videos, you want to see Disney videos. Subscribe and I promise you guys, you guys will not regret it. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys the TV spot if you haven't already seen it. If not, why not watch it again? Here it is. Introducing Jurassic World, the ride. <laughs> Trying to survive the new adventure. All right, now let's start from the beginning. Obviously, there's not much revealed in the beginning. There's a bunch of people filming on the world famous backlot at Universal Studios, but there's really nothing to show other than they hear the T Rex roaring and coming and wanting to kill them, and then everybody's looking up, I'm assuming, at the T Rex and running away. Now, keep in mind, Universal is doing a great job of advertising because we're getting closer and closer to the opening date, which is still unknown, obviously, because the rain in January pushed him back on construction, but we still don't know the opening date. I'm going to set a guess for opening day. I'm guessing it's going to be June 8th or June 9th, but either June 8th or June 9th. Those are my set predictions. I have no reasoning behind them. I'm just guessing by then they should have the attraction done. And like I said, make sure to follow me on all social media. That's where I'll be posting the date when, it, when it's released. But June 8th and June 9th are my prediction. So it's getting very close. And that is why Universal is doing a great job at marketing this attraction as we do near closer to the opening of the attraction. Nonetheless, if it's June, if it's May, if it's the second week of June, we are very close. So, I mean, obviously, them releasing this commercial tells us that we are extremely close to the opening date. The campaign is It Just Got Real, and it is getting real. It is getting real, and it's becoming a reality that we are finally having Jurassic World, the ride, almost ready to open, and we're going to be having it very soon. As you guys have seen from construction pictures, if you haven't already, uh, make sure you go check out my guy, JP, at Universal.JP. He does a lot of construction videos and such, and his name is JPLand21 on YouTube. The arch has currently gone up already guys the arch for Jurassic World has gone up now I'm sure it'll be like a couple of days from now that we'll be seeing the Jurassic World actually text on there But as far as the arch goes the brand new gray arch is up and it does look really nice I miss the old Jurassic Park one but the Jurassic World one is here already and I'm extremely excited for it. It is getting real. Universal does hit the mark by saying that it's getting real guys. It just got real and the arch is going up. The Raptor encounter is almost done. The attraction's almost done. We're seeing boats here and there. So that's a little hint that Universal's throwing in that um, TV spot. More chaos goes on. All the actors and the film producers and everything start running out of Universal. And then we get a huge scene of the T-Rex coming crashing through that Universal archway. And that loud roar all ties into the fact that Jurassic World the ride is coming and it is coming very soon. The T-Rex she has woken up and she is ready to hunt 
and kill that Indominus Rex that we're going to be seeing in the attraction of them fighting on the finale show scene before we plummet down that 80 foot drop. So yes, it did just get real and the T-Rex wants to let everybody in Hollywood and at Universal know that Jurassic World The Ride is coming very soon. Now here's where we get to the very important part where we get to see a sneak peek of the actual ride and what we're going to be experiencing on the ride. As I said in my first detail videos that I made on Jurassic World The Ride, you guys can go check it out. I'll link it down below that video did really well and I'm hoping this one does well too but you guys can go check that one out if you haven't already there's a lot of where well, there has been a lot of construction pics of the first showroom being a screen screen scene you know that's that's what we've been seeing we've been seeing this showroom with screens one we haven't seen the screen so that's what everyone's speculating and in fact universal basically confirmed it in this tv spot that we are going to be getting screens in that first scene i predicted that we're going to be seeing the mosasaurus in the show building as many others predicted i also said that it could be like we're visiting the visitor center but it turns out that the mosasaurus prediction was correct as we see guests riding in their brand new boat the mosasaurus comes up and hits the glass otherwise known as the screen for universal and shakes the boat and cracks the glass and gives you that effect that the mosasaurus is going to come and she is not happy she wants to feast on you and everyone in the boat there's a couple things that we can confirm from this little individual clip which is the fact that we're going to be seeing the mosasaurus it's going to be a screen based effect and it's going to be exactly what a bunch of people were predicting the fact that it's cracking the glass and it wants to get you and such that's all true now i don't see there being water effects because they didn't show any water effects in this i don't know if this is exact on ride footage or this is just like they sat in the boat and they added effects to it who knows guys i'm assuming it's already from on the ride and they just have that whole show building done already because you got to remember this whole show building went up like that was the first thing to really get um start to get working on over there they took off like the original netting or the original like grassy netting and then they replaced the show building that was the first thing kind of to hide like what they were doing down there so i i feel like they're already done with it but like fully 100 percent done with that and that's why they they filmed this but most definitely we are seeing the most of source and that is how the scene will be panning out now the new boats as you guys have seen in construction videos and such they have been testing the boats a lot they're a brand new color they're like a whitish like a little little bit of baby blue i like the design of them i think it fits well with the jurassic world theme i'm happy that we got new boats and they weren't just like reused but a different color i mean i'm assuming like a, probably a bunch of them are reused but i'm happy that they did do a lot more touching up than i thought they would i thought in reality they weren't going to do that much touching up other than just a repaint job but it seems like they did a lot more with the boats they added a little more stuff on the front which looks really cool and i'm very excited to test out these new boats on our new river adventure or is it even called a river adventure or is it just called jurassic park the ride who knows what they're going to name it again i think the only river adventure was in orlando i don't think the hollywood one was called river adventure but i'm getting off track here so we're seeing the muscle source that's all good there's screens but i do believe that this is going to be the only screen originally i said in my other details video that there could be possibly more screens throughout the ride there still could be i don't know though guys i feel like universal just on market this part first and obviously not giving us anything until the actual attraction opens but i think that this is going to be the only screen based part of this ride which i'm sure fans will be happy about because a lot of universal fans don't like the fact that universal has been using screens a lot as of recently but hey i think it's going to be a cool effect i do like the use of screens and rides not all the time though maybe just here and there. I don't like heavily screen-based rides though. However, like Minions and Transformers, I like it's cool. I mean, it was like the first original like screen-based ride at Universal, I guess, um, other than like Back to the Future. But Transformers is cool. I just, I think that using a bunch of screens in this ride would kill the attraction. So I'm happy that Universal's not really taking the route of using it and just using it for what they can use it for you know like the mosasaurus like that's a perfect fit for putting a screen but really nothing else would fit well um in a screen effect from the short clip you also see the boat moving a little bit now this could just be the water of like you going through the water and the boat moving um, bouncing to the water you know but who knows i think that it's from the impact of the mosasaurus and i think there's gonna be little jets underneath 
um, on the track that like kind of pump up the boat and shake it a little bit that'd be cool like i said i think i mentioned this in my other details video as well that what if they have like the seats rumbling or something or like the boat moving a little bit when the mosasaurus hits and it appears that they are going that route i'm assuming that there's going to be jets underneath that will push the boat up just a little bit not too dangerous but it will definitely frighten the guests and make them more immersed in the ride which i'm very excited about because when I originally talked about that, I was thinking to myself like, hmm, and should I should I say that? Like, that sounds a little bit crazy, but Universal, you guys prove everybody wrong. I'm not crazy, so thank you. Just that one little clip alone in this TV spot gives us so much like detail of the actual attraction. Obviously, it doesn't give us the full layout of the attraction, but it already gives us a way more excitement for the attraction because it gives us a little bit of taste of like, what are we going to be getting, you know? Also, I just want to say like amazing acting job by the people on the ride who just look so terrified by that giant dinosaur great acting job guys to break it all down we got the confirmation of the mosasaurus coming it's going to be a screen effect it's going to crack the glass there may or may not be water shooting at you and the boat's going to shake when the mosasaurus makes impact with the glass that's officially confirmed from the tv slot no matter what i like that's there's nothing else that really says that we aren't getting that uh, unless they it, they pull like a whole jeep thing for us and say like oh well the effects aren't working and we're just gonna leave you with a uh a blank screen of nothing and you're just gonna hear the sounds hopefully it doesn't get to be like that guys but i'm definitely excited for this scene i was a little bit skeptical at first during the when we saw the showroom construction and such i was skeptical you know universal screens like i said before but i'm actually very excited for it now the fact that they're actually taking this advantage of using the mosasaurus to make that effect on the screen and not just putting like i don't know like a background on the screen and making you feel like you're going through a forest when you could just do that with actual real props and effects the fact that they're actually using the screens to making a meaningful effect then i i'm just so excited for that i think that's really cool and it just gives me hope for universal that they'll implement this um, use of their screens into other attractions and other lands and they won't waste the space if you know what i mean and then the tv spot ends guys and that is what wraps everything up for the tv spot as far as details goes now even though it was just a small clip that we got of the actual attraction there is a ton that we can gain from this as far as details go and i'm just so excited for universal to release a little bit more details maybe we'll give us sneak peeks here and there between the opening attraction but like i said june 8th or 9th i'm think i'm predicting remember this is just speculation i'm predicting that it's going to open universal has not released an opening date at all and we don't know when it's going to open but i'm predicting those days it just it seems right you know they're a little bit pushed back on construction i think if they the rain didn't come in january then they, they would have probably already had it opening in like two weeks from now or something but my prediction is june 8th or june 9th and that's going to do it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video like i say click that subscribe button because i have videos like this all the time make sure to check me out on social media at socal exploring media on instagram at socal exploring on twitter and check out my website, www.socalexploring.com, where you can keep up to date with the latest theme park news from your favorite theme parks, such as Universal Studios, SeaWorld, Legoland, Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, all those Southern California theme parks. I'm also branching off into Orlando now, too. Um, I just got added to the media list for Universal Orlando and Legoland Florida, so I'm very excited about that. I'm happy to be doing um, work with them and blogging about their recent news so if you guys are interested in orlando stuff definitely check out those categories on my website i'm ending the video here guys positivity is key don't let those negative barriers get in your way of the goals that you want in life i love you all and most importantly remember to keep exploring peace